Warum würde jemals irgendwer Mercurial Skimmeter bauen? It has Hä? more stats, but it has no crit. A lot of changes. I'm going to show you all of them. Wait, und Bloodburst? Okay, er, er zeigt alles. Er zeigt alles. Das ist ja voll interessant, hä? Preview. Hey, guys. Ja. Dann schauen wir doch mal zusammen. Yesterday in my mid-season video, I showed you the changes to some of the rooms and new items coming to League of Legends and all the changes to Marksman items. Most das ist echt crazy, ne? Dass AD Carries jetzt wieder die 25 Crit kriegen. Ähm, ich kann halt also wirklich sehr, sehr schlecht einschätzen. Zum Beispiel bei Phantom Dancer jetzt. Der gibt ja aktuell, gibt ja doch auch AD. Der gibt ja dann nur noch super viel Attack Speed jetzt mittlerweile. Sind das die aktuellen Stats? Ich meine, Infinity Edge ist crazy. Hey guys, yesterday in my mid-season video, I showed you the changes to some of the rooms and new items coming to League of Legends and all the changes. Navori Flicker Blade. Was? Crit Attacks wie auch kein AD, ne? Das kann doch nicht stimmen, oder? Die Items. Geben die alle kein AD? Legends and all the changes to Marksman Items, mostly the crit ones. Today I'm going to show you all the changes to boots, and they are pretty big, and changes to the tank items, as they are pretty significant as well. Also Warte mal. some changes to the Geben alle Crit Items kein AD mehr? What the fuck? Wie zur Hölle sollst du denn dann äh, GP spielen? Wait, what? Das ist ja super bad für AD Carries, oder nicht? Oder ist das ein Bug hier? Mostly the crit ones. Today I'm going to show you all the changes to boots, and they are pretty Gaben big. Gaben die noch nie? Na klar, die Tank Mate! Items. Mate, Navori gibt aktuell, äh, ich glaube, 40 oder 50 AD. Phantom Dancer gibt AD. Rapid Fire Ken gibt AD. Die werden ja auch alle aus AD-Komponenten gebaut. Aber lass uns erstmal den ersten Teil davon anschauen. Ähm, bevor wir mit dem weitergehen, weil hier irgendwo hat er die AD-Items erklärt, ja. Hey guys, we Schau have some rein. absolutely massive news. A lot of changes are coming to the PBE. Lethal Tempo is getting removed, for example. Crit mm -hmm. items are gonna have 25% crit instead of 20. Then we also have changes to the Ghost. Riot thinks Ghost is too good. We even have some new added items to the game. Mm -hmm. Almost every single Marksman item got changed. As you can see, for example, here, Phantom Dancer no longer has AD. The values got changed all over. For example, Mercurial Scimitar has Lifesteal now and doesn't have Crit anymore. And then you have Bloodthirster. That Warum würde jemals irgendwer Mercurial Scimitar bauen? Has Hä? more stats, but it has no Crit. A lot of changes. I'm going to show you all of them. Wait, und Bloodthirst? Okay, er, er zeigt alles. Er zeigt alles. Das ist ja voll interessant, hä? No Crit. A lot of changes. I'm going to show you all of that in this video. Bloodthirst hat auch weniger AD, ne? So, stay tuned. Per Level -Ding so, let's get started with Raya's article. Liza? Okay, sorry. In here, they discuss the changes. So? Because currently we're getting the mid-season changes, the season is divided into three splits. So right now with the split two, Riot is doing medium-sized gameplay changes. They are currently live on PvE, but they will hit the live servers in just two weeks. So you better get familiar with them. Let's get started with rune changes. So as you can already see here, Lethal Tempo has been removed. In its place, we didn't get a new keystone, but we have press the attack that has been changed. So right now press the attack works until the end of the combat. So when it procs after three attacks, it will last until the end of the combat. So this is this is basically going to be less burst and more consistent damage. This is absolutely massive for champions mm -hmm. like Yone, Yasuo, Jinx, Zaya. And then another rune in the precision tree that is changed is that we lost overheal. And in its place we have absorb life. So what does absorb mm -hmm. life Was do? Was ist der Unterschied zwischen absorb life und trium? You when you kill Was ist der Unterschied? So this is supposedly going to be a sustain for the later parts of the game. And another change to the runes is that Legend Tenacity got removed mm -hmm. and now we got Legend Haste. So we basically get Ability Haste on takedowns. One and a half Ability Haste for every Legend stack. Up to 10 stacks so we can get 15 Ability Haste from Legend Haste. The cutdown rune also got a rework. Right now it does 8% more damage to champions who have more than 60%. Das wäre echt cool, wenn er die alten Values dazu schreiben würde, oder? Weil ich, ich weiß nicht, also wie es euch geht, aber ich kann so aus dem Kopf, kenne ich die, die exakten Values nicht. Das heißt, es wäre sehr, sehr cool, wenn die dabei wären. And one more major rune changes is that Predator has been removed. Mm -hmm. There is pretty much no compensation for it, but Predator has been pretty lackluster in the recent times, so that doesn't really surprise me. There are also some more rune changes. The Ingenious Hunter has been removed and we also got plenty of the changes to the Inspiration Tree. So we now got the new rune cashback. It gets some gold back when you purchase legendary items 
And it replaces the triple oh, tonic. Oh, Leute, ich bin so krank. Move to the row two. Diese Scheiße. The triple tonic that got moved here replaces triple the tonic futures marker. Quits? Okay. The futures marker is no longer here. And then we got another neuron in this inspiration tree. This is jack of all trades. And it replaces the time warp tonic on row Interesting, three. Interesting. Uh... Time warp trying, by the way. Move to row two. Replace the minion dematerializer. So okay. minion de dematerializer. And then futures market are completely removed. And here we have the neuron, jack of all trades. For each different stat gained from items, gain one jack stack. Each stack grants you one ability haste. Gain das bonus ja, adaptive force at five and ten stacks. Das ist der change, we also weißt du? have the rework to font of life rune. So when you disturb the enemy of enemy champions, you can restore health to you and your nearby allies with the lowest health. Alrighty, so we just got into the game and let's test the press the attack right now. So how does it work? 91 and then you get a little burst and then consistently until the end of the combat you will have extra bonus damage. We also got Aber a few completely new... Was ist denn dann der, also der Unterschied zwischen Conqueror und Press the Attack ist doch dann relativ gering, oder? Wenn es einfach nur ein permanenter On-Combat Buff ist. Ich nehme an, dass Conqueror auf alle Targets und Press the Attack nur auf 1 ist. Aber das ist trotzdem so ein bisschen no komisch, oder? Game, like Overlord's Blood Mail that gives you 40 AD, 500 health and gains 2% of your bonus health as attack damage. So this is kind of similar to the old Atmos Impaler and also gains up to 10% increased attack damage based on your percent missing health. I think this can be a Overlord's Blood Mail. Pretty cool build for Mundo. Mundo yeah. may be able to Das ist auch der einzige Champion, oder? Man denkt da direkt an Mundo, wenn man dieses Item sieht. Vielleicht Adi Sion oder also dieser Tank Sion mit Titanic Hydra und so. And then the build Olaf. path is hilarious with two Aber wer sonst noch? Then we have new AP item, Fated Ashes. It gives you 40 AP uh, for just 900, 900 gold. gold. And dealing AP damage with abilities burn? causes enemies to burn for 7 magic damage per second for 3 seconds. This damage increases by 20 per second Set to monsters. Gut, ja. And this Vector, item builds yeah. to a completely new item, Blackfire Torch. Blackfire Torch is back, it's a new item, cool. Burn for 20 magic damage das gab's doch schon mal früher, oder? Oder bin And ich blöd? And this damage is increased by 20 per second to monsters. Also the Blackfire Passive, for each enemy champion, epic monster and large monster affected by your Baleful Blaze, so the burn that I just mentioned, you gain 4% ability power. So let me demonstrate you that Blackfire effect. As they say, each enemy champion, epic monster and large monster are affected by your passive. Gains you 4 AP. Here we have three targets and my AP went from 108 to mm -hmm. 121. So it increased by 12%. Okay, let's go to the next one. super interesting change. I didn't know that they so weit gehen dieses Mal. This is ja voll interessant, eh? <laughs> Thank you. 